Bakit DBM? Uh, well, I think kasi DBM, we, we manage the budget. Uh, kailangan no, judicious use of funds. Okay, so, if you manage the uh, energy consumption, umababa din yung, uh, yung gastos. No? Uh, at saka yung uh, the public funds, we're able to make the public funds go further. No? Uh, Separately, if we lower the cost, we will more funds to use for other projects. The savings na we uh, generate ng uh, ng solar, eh, imagine about 51,000 pesos a month. You say you pay 600,000 pesos. Isang agente lang yan. Eh, kung, uh, if you multiply that by all government agencies, you can imagine the, the savings that government will generate on utilities. A utilities every year, uh, tumataas yan eh. If we use solar, at least we maintain na natin yung, uh, yung, consum yung consumption. And uh, yun, that's why I think DBM is also the right agency to use it because, uh, again, it's budget, uh, management of the budget. And management of the cost is management of the budget in one way. Pero dito sa solar panel namin, eh, walang cost. No maintenance cost, no installation cost. No? So, zero. Zero capex. DBM uh, project is has a capacity of 51.3 uh, kilowatt peak and uh, it's a grid tight system meaning the generated power is uh, being thrown to the load automatically uh, it's producing approximately uh, 60,000 kilowatt, uh, kilowatt hour of power uh, a month translates into approximately 50 to 60,000 pesos every month our country is blessed with a lot of sunlight. Uh, in other, I mean, some countries are blessed with oil, uh, lots of natural gas, but we have so much sun. And it's a waste if we are just importing all of our power. We have to make use of our God-given gifts, don't we? So uh, I believe that solar is going to be the future and it's going to be something that's going to be relevant for a very long time.